All right, so from what I can see, it's gonna be like a hot day. It's gonna be a hot photography shoot, guys. So let's get to it. We're gonna go down to the park now, guys. We're on the nine. So we're gonna cross the road now. All right, so I arrived at the park, guys. So I got this time. I got a ticket, ten baht. Uh, it's only ten baht, so no big deal. Uh, so as you see, actually this place looks, this view looks really nice. So I'm actually gonna go over there, do, take some photos of flowers. Uh, there's gonna be like lots of different colors. I'm hoping that we're gonna get some green, red, yellow, orange, purple, pink, and all sorts of colors. So let's get to it, guys. I'm gonna take out the camera as well. I'm gonna bring the R5 this time. So we're gonna test the R5, see how well that does. So I can't wait. So let's get to it, guys. Also, I actually never been this area, so it's the first time here. Uh, it's not too bad actually. So I got some cooling sprays. So hopefully that'll keep me cooling down a bit. But it looks really beautiful. Uh, so yeah, it will definitely cool down and probably get some nice golden hour sun sunlight, guys. So we're gonna go over there, see if we can get some see if we can get some photos of flowers. So over there we got the botanical garden. So that's where we want to go because a lot of options of different flowers. So well, I can see there's not many people running. Well, I guess it's a bit too hot now. Probably later on we'll see some more people jogging and running. Alright, so we've reached our first flower location guys. And so far we got pink ones now. So we're gonna get some photos of these. And get the camera out. Uh, as usual, bag is so heavy. So probably gonna get some back pain later on. Uh, let's get to it guys. Alright, so we got a few shots of the R5 using the 85 RF lens f2.0 which looks superb. I uh, love the, the sharpness and how clear it looks and there's such as uh, the color canon's color science looks so good at the natural color so we get a bit of pink a tiny bit of purple and white so they look really amazing so i can't wait to go on my computer and edit there guys and show you guys on my vlog so yeah stay tuned guys we're gonna give you guys a bit of a first person view all right so right now we got this lovely dark purple flower which looks incredible guys the focus is absolutely crazy uh it's super sharp so loving the the bokeh and the so luckily i have a bit of natural sunlight so it gives me a nicer balance so i don't have to use the iso very high all right so once again i'm using the the 85 rf lens at f2 iso 100 and i'm using the the ev uh, around minus one so get a nice Gray bokeh, beautiful. So far, we got a bit of uh, variety flowers. We got two different colors. We got a bit of white, light pink, and dark purple. So hopefully, we can see some more white, orange, yellow, and what else there is? Blue, maybe lavender. So we keep walking. I think some of the flowers, more option of flowers, would be over there. So we're gonna make my way over there. Yeah. So so far, so good love the focus love the how crispy and clean it is uh so yeah i can really excited guys not a lot of people right here at the moment what if there'll be more people around this time because it's a saturday afternoon so good for me not too many people so we're probably gonna make a move on because uh it's getting close to golden hour now and i really want that nice uh glow of the golden hour color of the warmth color of the sunlight so i found some interesting flowers uh Kind of weird shaped flowers they're quite long but they're like a bit of pink and white combined so a lot and i just took a few photos the bokeh bokeh looks absolutely stunning so yeah can't wait to see what other plants we got over there guys you won't believe what i found finally we found like a big flower a decent one too uh so been looking for one of these flowers for a long time it's all right i've taken the same color but Better than nothing so i'm still trying to find red colors orange as well so yeah can't wait i got some great photos i think we're coming up to we're coming close to golden hour now so we're gonna get some nice lighting so can't wait for that all right so we gotta be a bit careful too because it's like a spider we don't want to interrupt his web you can see this little fella right here and we got this absolutely beautiful big flower it's got a bit of red in the center so love the bokeh I'm trying to get the other one behind see i don't want to lean too forward because i might fall really greatly focus is awesome so yeah 
wish the sunlight was come here so we can get some nice light exposure because we don't want to use too much of a high so oh my god guys finally we see some or red flower the big one finally this is what i've been looking for and it looks beautiful so i'm gonna get a few shots of this guys wow it looks really beautiful look at that guys so three tips which i want to give you guys that when you want to take great uh photos you gotta know your settings you gotta know your composition and you gotta know have great decent lighting because you don't want to use too much iso because it look uh you get too grainy and you want to use as much natural sunlight as possible so these are the three steps uh three tools which i i can give you because so composition lighting and settings you gotta know these three and if you ace all three of them you can actually get really really stunning photos so and you can master the the bokeh get some nice portraits landscapes whatever you want so that depends on you so you gotta know those three things before anything else and then you get some nice stunning photos and then you gotta practice a lot too as well so don't forget that so nice and low so as you can see nice and low tilt the screen my hands are not steady so but at least we have the ibis which will help me guys i am at the other side where i came from so i came from like back over there and this is the car park the other side so that is the other entrance and guess what guys i just saw this really insane like one flower just from out of nowhere and i just like had to find my way so i can get a photograph of it because i'm a bit too far so as you can see hopefully there aren't anything down there oops can't believe i'm doing this all just for a photo look at that finally found it Ooh, let's get some insane shots looks absolutely stunning i love the bokeh around it so it's like the 85 is actually perfect distance for this but i just need to position myself I'm gonna get a few portraits as well all right so it looks insane i think got the right exposure as well so composition great setting is great look at that i came all the way here just to take this photo I had to really push my way in oh shoot i think i broke one of the, the flower pots luckily guys i didn't have to make myself i had to go all the way through here just a little bit so thank god there wasn't like any snakes or anything oh actually it has like a nice sunset over there guys oh my god you wouldn't believe it i finally found a yellow flower to take some photos of okay this is not just one but there's like two I just got a purple and a red one, so I was really happy. A big flower this time, so look, we got this yellow one. So I'm gonna take a few shots of this. Wow! So it's only like those. This is the only one I've seen today. So really happy. So guess I'm lucky. So let's get a few photos, guys. So I think the best side is from here. Uh, I'm not sure. Still like experimenting different stuff. really happy i don't really waste time because the camera is really responsive and the autofocus is superb so i can just touch the screen and the focus for me so yeah let's get like here from a portrait view okay this looks good wow not bad maybe we can crop a bit post-production oh yeah there's actually like a lot more people now so you got some families people juggling jogging and running it's a bit more lively that's more like it so i think Porsche for this one is actually the best one but still gonna try landscape as well nice bulk up in the background Right, to be honest guys i wish i had a better view because i had to go around i don't want to like fall into the water because i literally like, leaned a bit and i don't want my stuff to get wet so i'm gonna find different ways how we can do the photos yeah i can't get to the red one so i don't know what what's the sound oh it's the bird only so the good thing is that uh the camera has an overheat which is a good thing uh i still got a lot of power but gonna try make good use of it and see how 
how well I can take the photos, that's the main priority. Beautiful small yellow flower. Loving the bokeh. So far so good. I can actually get pretty close. Alright, next location. So we're gonna get a nice compression of the building over there. We have a 7200 f2.8. So we got the R5 as well. All right, so we're gonna try see if we can get a silhouette, uh, higher f-stop of the, the dome over there, guys. Alright, so it's now currently 6.45 p.m. guys, and I'm still here. I've been here for around two and a half hours, so still uh, taking some photos. Uh, now I'm changing the lens to the 35mm f1.8, which is probably the best one at the RF lens we have now for this uh, time of the day, which is nighttime. And yeah, so we're gonna see how well it does in low light despite it has 45 megapixels. So I took a few shots and the results were pretty great. They're pretty tad sharp, so pretty impressed. So I'm gonna get some more photos of these uh, beautiful flowers which they're around dark purple and you see the yellow yellow pollen in the center so yeah so actually I'm really surprised how well this performs so before that I was actually getting some nice compressed shots of the, the architecture building right there in the center with a point and they were really great so I took it in golden hour sunset and I took a silhouette as well because I want to try all these three different types of shots because you know why not 7200 f 2.8 that was the best one option i got and i think they're gonna turn out really great so i'm really impressed so far really loving how it's um performing really fast responsive sharp smooth the color science superb so really i'm happy about it and I'm gonna keep shooting uh, i'm not sure when i'm finished but a lot of people are now going home because it's getting late and the nothing thing with that is so many mosquitoes guys it's just so annoying especially when you go up here well now there are not many here but before when I was taking photos of the building architecture there were just so many so it was just really annoying I had to put my hat on so yeah I'm gonna take some more photos guys and show you guys later on so let's get to it alright guys so it's currently now 6 50 p.m. everybody has gone but I'm still here grinding as usual so I'm gonna test out some photos See how well this camera and the lens, the RF 35mm f1.8 in low light, despite it's a 45 megapixel full frame mirrorless camera. By the way, I just set up this uh, camera just for getting sick angles, so don't judge me, guys. It's called being a new YouTuber, so yeah. Anything for the camera, guys. Okay, so we're gonna move closer so you guys can see some of the action from my point of view. Yeah, I'm gonna go a bit on the rocks. I'm not sure if you can go here, but there's not, not one here, so I guess it's all right. I think this is a place where you can take photos. Uh, this area has actually got good flowers because the petals are actually open pretty flat. I try to get one of these ones. Oh, actually this one's actually really good because the petal is like curved and it's different. So I'm gonna get different types of flowers because they're all different. Uh, different colors and different shape and how they open. I actually wish I could take this in daylight because it probably look better. It doesn't look too bad but I could do a bit better. Alright so I think that's it for today guys so if you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Alright guys so it seems like your boy is the only one here so I'm heading back home now guys, it's been a great day. So if you like this video guys and still here, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for your boy guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.
just to be curious see how much my bag actually weighs how much weight i'm carrying my, on my back 10.4 well that was when i had my water bottle full so i'm guessing 10.6 all right guys see you later on until the next video